Good evening, witches and gentle bears. This is part 4 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Wasn't that an awesome intro? Of course it was. I haven't even made it yet, but I already know it's gonna be great. Last video, we collected the ninth Jiggy of this level. To get the last one, I just have to feed some blue eggs to the spinning pole. Juju Mumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. He's talking about the eggs, of course, and to feed them to the pole, we have to change back into the Baron Bird. Of course, I don't need any more Mumbo's tokens to transform again. Okay, so we went from a huge termite to a small bear. Alright, let's go feed Juju. Okay, so I have four lines to clear. Shouldn't be too hard. Well, at least we now get to use the egg move for something other than fighting. Okay, so thankfully I only need one egg for each mouth. We should get a jiggy for helping him out. I'm not sure what exactly we're helping him out with. Where is it? There it is. Score! Alright, we got the last jiggy. Okay, this game is slowing down a lot. I don't know why. I gotta fix it. Hang on. Oh uh, no. Almost. Ah, uh, this should do. I have to set perhaps to record at half sized, but it shouldn't be that much of a loss. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I have to turn into a termite so I can get that jigsaw piece. Okay, that was a bad idea. Oh, there's a honeycomb piece. Okay, I have no idea how I missed that. No, I can't grab it. I don't think Banjo can jump high enough. No? Okay, I have to get it somehow. And the way for me to get that is I need Juju again. So, I have to leave the level and come back. First I'm going to get that Jiggy. Die, Mumbo. Okay, transform. Okay, we got six legs now. So let's crawl. Health. Do I need health? No, I don't. I'm pretty sure everything reappears when you come back. Oh, let's hear about Grunty's magic. Yeah, I can't take any other notes out. But I still keep the record, the score. They just reappear back in the world seat and uh... banjo Toe is the other way. You just collect the notes and the jiggies and uh, you keep them forever. I think there are 11 worlds in this game. Hey, eat my shorts, buddy. Okay, so I got, what? Two jiggies. Oh yeah, that's just for the overworld, uh, Grunty's Lair. Okay, so... Two Mumbos. Yeah, everything reappears when I come back, even the Jinjos. I don't think the Jiggies do, though. I get a music note for no reason. Let me make sure I have everything. Yeah, I just need one more honeycomb. Okay, the pole's back, so we have an infinite shot at this. This guy's sleeping again, of course. We're always either gone for like one minute, and he just goes back to sleep. Alright, we're done with Mumba forever. Until the next world, at least. I'm gonna just get this done and get out. Yeah, yeah, I know your deal. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, come on. Oh, that went in. Come on. Oh. Alright. Wow, I don't know what happened there. Well, anyway, we got everything in this level now, so... Let's never come back again. Whoa! Oh, okay. 
Got a little excited there. Kind of reminds me of uh, chasing cheese down the hill. Okay, so now I'm going to go advance in the overworld. Hope I don't get lost. Oh yeah, Grunty's got pictures of herself all over her lair. Yeah, so I need a move that I learned in the first world to get up this hill so I can continue to the second world. Why is Bottles here again? Oh yeah, he's just telling me about the nut doors. I thought he had another move or something. I guess that's not in the overworld. <sighs> I like how this game guides you, holds your hand throughout the whole game. Not many of the older games do that. They just, they used to just stick you in the game and say, here, here's a bunch of toys, you figure it out. Okay, so I need 50 notes to get past this door. And luckily for me, I have about three times that much. Yeah, so, uh, okay, I don't need any health. Bottles just filled my health up. Alright, we're making progress. Oh, the witch has something to say. Okay, so she's saying we won't be able to get through any more note doors, so... I guess that's the end of this game. Man, what the heck, I'll try anyway. Oh, okay, this is Grunty's sister. And she wants to teach her a lesson. Yeah, that's what you get when you kidnap a little girl. Your sister brings the hammer down. She teaches you a lesson. Gives you a little slap on the hand. And tells people your embarrassing secrets. Capital punishment. Okay, we're not going to learn the secrets. We're just going to explore. Okay, we got another puzzle over there. And many exits. Okay, I'm going to go into this little cave first. After I miss this clungle looking dude. And down here is world 2, right? No. Some kind of melting pot in the middle and a bunch of eggs on the outside. Oh, a mumbo token. Hence the termites outside the first level. Oh yeah, this is a magic teleporter. You can just go back and forth like... Willy Wonka's elevators. Okay, so, uh, we got this thing here, which we need to move to use to get up there. Okay, so I'm gonna complete this puzzle over here. First, what's up here? Oh yeah, that's the world too. Okay, so, I gotta do the puzzle first. I have 11 pieces, and I only need two. Oh, come on, bottles. Okay, so you press the Z to put on all your pieces. And then they're stuck there permanently. Okay, so to get into World 2, we have to jump into a chest full of gold. Alright, let's go to Treasure Trove Cove. Uh, actually, I don't have enough time to go in there, so I'll just look around, see where it's at. See where everything else is at. Okay, we got a river, a pipe, a hill, a bad guy. Um, okay, that's level two. And this, uh, I have no idea where that leads. Okay, we got, I think that's, uh, world three? I don't know. I'll have to check it out later. I'll have to stop it here. So next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we explore more of the overworld. And we go into the treasure trove cove. This is the caveman saying goodbye.